My name's Amata, and in this Red Gamer Tech video, I'm here as always with the latest from the tech world in the last 24 or so hours. I hope you all have had a pleasant Saturday. It has been lovely and warm here in my part of the UK, so hopefully it has been the same for you guys as well. But what do I have for you? Well, we're going to kick things off with a couple of AMD pieces, and the first of which is a look at AMD's market share and how it has improved since the release of Ryzen 2000. Then we're going to move on to yet another leak of a Vega 20 and a Vega 12, and then we're going to finish things up with Asus who have beginning who have begun rather rolling out updates to protect against Spectre and Meltdown. But as I said, we're going to kick things off with the Ryzen 2000 series. Now you may recall we discussed just the other day how a Steam hardware survey has shown that the amount of people with AMD CPUs and graphics cards has increased. We now kind of see a similar report in that vein from Mindfactory.de. Now they're looking at the amount of sales that have been made and they have shown that just a month after the 2700X and the rest of the 2000 series came out, that particular processor alongside a few others of course have helped AMD gain a good share in the number of CPU sold. So we do not want to undersell the fact that this isn't just the 2700X doing this, we have also seen impact by the Ryzen 2600 and 2600X as well as a strong performance from the Ryzen 3 2200G and Ryzen 5 2400G. Now the APUs have been very very popular indeed for those who are looking for a low budget build because price versus performance on those things is actually pretty damn sweet. So overall we can see we can see a 7% jump in the number of chips sold since last month which is pretty damn significant. So this puts the number of AMD CPUs sold to 47% while Intel does remain in the top position with 53%. Now out of that 47% that were AMD CPUs, 10% of them are Pinnacle Ridge, but Summit Ridge still, still does have a significant percentage at 23%, whereas at Camp Intel we see Coffee Lake unsurprisingly commanding a pretty significant portion of that 53%, as 42% of the CPUs sold were Coffee Lake. However, Intel is also in the lead with the most CPU revenue, and the 8700K does still lead the pack for them. So, again, this isn't, you know, AMD, you know, snatching the baton out of Intel's hands and then running away giggling or anything, but they're definitely catching up. And it's definitely nice to see, you know, competition is good. Competition breeds innovation, and that's definitely something that we want to see more of. We much prefer to see more of a neck-and-neck -neck race between Intel and AMD than one company ruffle-stomping the other. Now, obviously... Intel do not have any launches planned until the second half of 2018, which basically means that AMD have the run of things until then. So I would fully expect to see the market share continue to grow in AMD's favour, but of course that is pure speculation on my part. But I think that is a fairly reasonable assumption slash speculation to make. But of course, history, or rather the future... Could often could prove me wrong, sorry, and it often does prove me wrong. But that's a fun of speculation. But uh, I think we can see things to, we can expect to see things. Excuse me, to continue along this trend until Intel comes out with what it has planned in the second half of 2018. As of course AMD do have second gen Ryzen, of course, and of course second gen Threadripper. So, as I said, we're going to move on to our second day AMD piece of today, which is regarding Vega. Now, we have had various leaks regarding 7nm Vega and Vega 20 and all that good stuff. Over the last few days, you may recall, there was a 3D Mark benchmark which leaked just the other day. And now we have yet another leak for you. So, as always, with anything that is unconfirmed, do take this with a pinch of salt or a whole truckload if you prefer. But now we have a leak in the latest LLVM and Clan compiler patches alongside a new GPU, which is new as far as I'm concerned, by the name of Vega 12. So, what else has this patch revealed to us? Well, Vega 20 is going to be apparently supporting intrinsic AI and deep learning instructions. And this does actually line up with what AMD said earlier this year at CES, where they basically said they're going to be making a Vega chip using 7nm, that is going to have tech for deep neural networks, for AI and machine learning workloads by the end of the year. So this pretty much goes, yep, this is AMD preparing for what they've already said that they're going to do. And it also confirms, which AMD never really did themselves, that the 7nm Vega that they mentioned at CES is in fact going to be Vega 20. So that basically means that it's probably not going to be for you and I, but we also have this mysterious Vega 12 alongside it as well. 
Unfortunately, we know literally nothing other than the fact, apparently, that it's a thing that exists. You know, we could speculate on it all day, but it could be, hey, it's Polaris, or it's, you know, some 7NM Vega that isn't going to be using AR, that isn't tailored for machine learning, all that, that is going to be for gamers. You know, it could be another replacement for Polaris, we don't know. Or it could be, you know, strapped to a cow's back and then, you know, it, that cow is just kind of set off into the sunset. We don't know. I'm being obviously facetious just to kind of really hammer home the point that all we know is that apparently Vega 12 is a thing that exists. So we're going to have to wait and see what is actually happening there. But basically what this patch has confirmed to us, as I've already said, that Vega 20 is going to be focused on AI. So unfortunately not much to be said there other than what has already been discussed, so let's finish things off, shall we, with Asus and Spectre and Meltdown. So basically what we have here is that Asus have been rolling out motherboard BIOS updates for the Intel 9 series chipset motherboards, which protect against the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerabilities, which of course we discussed just yesterday, as unfortunately there's a new generation of Spectre that we get to be all worried about so check out the video from Paul yesterday if you haven't seen it I will link it in the description below this video but basically these BIOS updates from ASUS give us a 24 micro code for 4 gen Haswell 5th gen Broadwell processors into the LGA1150 package now unfortunately these updates are beta apparently but I think this is purely a case of ASUS covering their butt a little bit because the 9 series motherboards have probably fallen outside of warranty so ASUS don't kind of want to be held accountable if anything goes wrong with those or uh, want to be held less accountable I suppose I should say which is a bit more fair of me to say but the point is ASUS have been begun rolling out these updates so you're going to be getting some more protection against Meltdown and Spectre coupled with the Windows 10 April 2018 updates and if you want to go download these you can find them in the support tab of the product page of your motherboard and the ASUS website. Because obviously while Intel have been releasing microcode updates for Haswell and Broadwell you are kind of at the mercy of your motherboard manufacturer to actually pass them on to you so it's nice of ASUS to release these even if it's under the beta flag of like, look guys, these are for older motherboards, so you know, do take care, but here are the updates if you wish to protect yourself against these rather nasty security vulnerabilities. So that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Go and enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening, my friends, and I'll see you next time.